on a story we've been following since May. Residents in Ridgeway, that's in Fairfield County, have been complaining about this bridge that's been closed to traffic since 2015. Those barriers have become a fixture in this community. Emily Scarlett's live this morning reporting that over the last few months uh, we have been learning more about this, but we have also learned, Emily, a solution could be coming sooner than expected. Leland, that's right. Good morning. When I first reported on this story, SEDOT told me work was scheduled to begin in 2023. Now they say the project is being expedited and could be finished by the end of next year. When I asked what was the reason behind this new timeline, I was told that's because it's one of the longest closed bridges on DOT's list. But some residents question why that matters now when they say they've been complaining for years. I have called several times to ask when are they going to open this bridge. It's been almost five years and this is where we are. This bridge at Belfield and Blink Bonnie Roads in Fairfield County has been closed since 2015 after an inspection deemed the bridge unsafe. This bridge is, is, is vital to the community. Residents say the nearly four year long closure has been not only an inconvenience, sometimes forcing drivers to take a 15 mile detour but costly, too. In our earlier reporting, we've estimated this could cost drivers around $1,300 in extra gas every year. It's one reason why Moses Bell says he decided to run for county council. We are tired as a community always being put on the back burner. Several residents say they've taken action to get the bridge fixed. How many of you all reached out to DOT for answers? Everybody. And all of us. Everybody. And then some. SCDOT first said they wouldn't be able to begin repairs on the bridge until 2023. Now they're telling us that this bridge is going to be completed in 2020. Are you all satisfied with that? No. 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 We're not going to believe that until we see it. It's, right. been, it's been too long. Yeah. Yeah. We've been it's too long. time for now action now. Six years. I think they could do this bridge a lot quicker. Already you can see some work has started and much of the overgrown grass and shrubs that were around the barriers have been removed. They must do what they say they're going to do. Thanks to you, WIS TV, for, for, for highlighting the, uh, um, the importance of getting this bridge done. Some of the residents tell me the problem is about more than just a long detour or extra gas money. They're also concerned about how this bridge closure could be slowing down emergency responders in their area. Many of them are just hoping they can rely on this new 2020 timeline. Live in Columbia from SEDOT, Emily Scarlett, WIS News 10.